Matt Carell just proved why players are opting out of bowl games, right? You got people like Kirk Herbstreit and Desmond Howard out here complaining on Twitter that, you know, pretty much players are just taking advantage of the situation, that players have no passion. Um, that is, is not like how it used to be back in the 80s and 90s when the time they played where everyone cared about the quote unquote teams, which I think in today, I think it's horseshit. I really do. I think in today's age, players have more power. Players have NIL, have NIL deals, um, and players are just getting wiser. We're learning from, from um, our predecessors. And it's not even that long ago that you have players like Jalen Smith, who literally, end, who literally almost ended his career in a New Year's Six Bowl game that wasn't, in the, that wasn't part of the college football playoff, and he lost millions, and I mean millions of dollars. And, the, and examples like Jalen Smith, um, there, there's plenty of out there that I can definitely name out there that's exactly, that was exactly in his shoes, exactly in the situation, right? Matt Carell, man, if, and first of all, I'll just say this. I really do hope that Matt Carell is healthy. I really do hope that Matt Carell, um, you know, maybe it's just a high ankle sprain and he just can't go. Because if this is a, if this is like a, 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 a potential season ending injury, and I'm not just talking about for, of course, for Ole Miss, but I'm talking about this is literally going to end. Um, he's, he, he can't even play in the year of, for, the, for the 2022 football season or if he's or he's going to miss a majority of it um where it's going to really mess up his draft stock then this is just it's a big loss it's a really big loss for Matt Corral because Matt Corral is a projected first round quarterback in almost every single mock draft you can think of right Todd McShay, Walt, you know, Walter Football um Pro Football Focus um uh, Mel Kiper he's a projected first round pick and again people were uh, we're going in, and it's, and it's funny as hell because it really college football fans weren't going in on Kenny Pickett. It was the analysts, it was the media that was going after Kenny Pickett for opting out for Pittsburgh. But if, but these people were going in on Kenny Pickett for not playing. Look what happened in that game. The second string quarterback got hurt. He got hurt. Kenny Pickett is a, is projected to be the first quarterback taken in the NFL draft. Hell, by the time the NFL draft starts, Kenny Pickett might be the number one pick. I know people's talking about Aiden Hutchison and Kayvon Thibodeau, but let's be honest here. Quarterbacks are the most, it's the most valuable position in football. It's the most valuable position in football. And if you, and if you believe that, and if, and if franchises believe that Kenny Pickett can be there, can be that quarterback, they're going to take him, they're going to take him as early as possible. They're going to take him as early as possible. So, Matt Corral, man, I just really hope that he is okay. I really hope that he is fine because I don't want this kid having a season-ending injury. I mean, he has a lot of upside. What he's done for the Ole Miss program um, has been uh, has been unbelievable. He has brought Ole Miss to, to, re uh, to relevancy. And, again, you got to admire his heart, man, because, again, he, he started with this program and he wants to finish with this program. Um, and again, it's admirable. We understand it. It's their first, it's right. It's a sugar bowl game. Um, they haven't played in a sugar bowl. I think since 20, um, I think maybe since 25, maybe 2016 was the last time Ole Miss played in the sugar bowl. Um, but they haven't won it since Chad Kelly. So yeah, I, I really do hope that he's okay, man. But if this is a season, if this is a potential season ending injury for him that he could miss uh, a majority of the off season, a majority of the, uh, and, and, and potentially some of the NFL season because of this, it's going to kill his draft stock. And he's going to go from a first round pick to someone that's probably going to be taking the third round pick. This is not a, this is not a strong quarterback draft class. It's not a strong quarterback draft class, right? It's just, it's not like, you know, he was projected to be the first overall pick and then he gets hurt. But, you know, again, it's like a Tua situation where you still take him in the, in the top, within the top five because you really just truly believe in his ability in the long term. But this is not a strong quarterback draft class. You need to take everything that you, that you, that you get. And, man, I just hope that he's okay. I hope that worst case, I'm sorry, that best case scenario, it's maybe a high ankle sprain. He's going to be out for like three, four weeks, but he's going to be fine. He's going to be ready to go. But even then, it's still going to hurt him because of NFL workouts, um, because of um, the combine, pro days. It's going to hurt him in, in that facet. It's just, it's a sucky situation, man. But again, Kenny Pickett, 
People were criticizing Christian McCaffrey for not playing that game. People were criticizing Leonard Fournette for playing that final game. And, and now you look at this, people are criticizing Kenny Pickett. And people are criti uh, uh, people were criticizing um, Brees Hall for not playing for for Iowa State during uh, for not for, for playing for Iowa State. This is why, man. This is why Jacks. This is why Chris Olave is not playing. This is why Garrett Wilson's not playing, right? And for people like Kirby Smart, Desmond Howard, and some of these other analysts in the sports media to go in on these kids for making a business decision for the best of them, because like I said, the season is over for them. The season is technically over for them. They didn't reach their goal, which was the playoffs. This is a business decision. You have to think about you have to think about your family first. The family family always comes first. Think about your family. Think about your future instead of thinking about instead of sometimes thinking about your team. Because you can have a because you could have a Jalen Smith situation where you care so where you where you where you where you're 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 thinking about the team. The team comes first. And then you lose tens of millions of dollars because of it. So hopefully Matt Corral is okay. Hopefully Matt Corral, this is not going to affect his draft stock. But this is another example. If Matt Corral, this is the worst injury. If this is an injury that could that could potentially take him out the first round, this is going to be another prime example of why players do why players opt out. This is why this is why they do it. And for the and media for the most part that are criticizing these kids. She shut the hell up.